This is Quran. God says, surely in Yusuf and in his brothers, it's a great sign for the seekers. <laughs> and God says, وَكَذَلِكَ مَكَّنَّا لِيُوسُفَ فِي الْأَرْضِ And on that wise did we establish Yusuf in the earth. And also God says, of him, says, Wali Nu'allimahu min ta'wilil ahadith. And that we may teach him the mysteries, the mysterious interpretation of some of the great reports, a hadith. Praise be to Allah. Now, I was talking on the interpretation of the Quran once and some uh, uh, learned elder, he said, you're reading the Quran wrong, brother Imam. Uh, no one knows the ta'wili except Allah. Well, God says, and he taught Yusuf. <laughs> Some of the ta'wil in the ahadith. <laughs> we know that only Allah knows it, but he doesn't keep it to himself. He gives it to whomsoever he will. <laughs> and further, Allah says, Wallahu ghalibun ala amri. And God achieves his command. You know, ghalibun means he, he, he seizes it. He seizes it. He, well, he overcomes all opposition in, in attaining it. And then he surmounts it. That's what it means. Yes. He surmounts it. He comes in charge. He takes charge. Of his command. God will not leave his command to others. Like some of us. We give a command to somebody and leave it to them even though they're neglecting it. God won't do that. He passes his command to someone, they neglect it, he takes it away. He sees his command. Hey, give me back my command. You're doing nothing with it. But the majority of humanity of the people do not have the understanding. They don't know. In another place, Allah says of his command, he says that he does not, he does not share his command with anybody. Or with anything. That's wonderful. That's important for you as a leader, as an imam. Or the head of a Muslim, or head of anything. What are you going to govern by? Govern by the light that God has given us. What authority will you establish to get compliance? Govern by God's commands. Huh? If we're a Muslim community, some of us, we fail to, to get the people to support us and they get grow, to grow in numbers and grow in, in importance because we are trying to manage too much by ourselves. We think we have to secure the interest. We have to secure the organization. We have to secure the power. We have to get compliance. You can't get compliance. People will rebel against you. You can't get compliance. Oh, I know. I, I, I can handle it. No, you can't. It's, you may think you handle it, but you are deceived. God has just given you a few things that he doesn't want and have locked you into a situation of non-productivity. 
Yeah. And you think you got something? Hey, come out here. Get out here this morning. Got something for you to do. Hey, oh, get over here right away. To the messenger. And it's about 12 feet by 12 feet. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hardly room to make sister. Get over here to the mess, Jeff. Got some work for you all to do. Got assignment. And wonder how come you don't have big growth. It's because you are trying to share command with God. He says he does not share his command with any. But when when you when you when you're in the right situation yourself and you invite the people to come, they come. Because you didn't command them. You made them aware of God's command. And their duty to God brought them out. But some of us want to be God so bad, we won't create that kind of situation where people will obey because of the love and fear of God. We want to be their own, we want to be the masters of God over them ourselves that keep you small. He does not share his command with any. Now, looking at Joseph's situation, God says that he taught him the mysterious interpretation of some of the great reports. And God behind that, he says, and that God takes charge over his command. He would not leave his orders, his commands to others. If he would have left his orders, his command, what do you mean by this? God won't leave the circumstances that he himself has charge over, has given himself to. He has pledged himself to look out after these things. He will not leave those things to men of the world. That's telling the wise. That's telling the imperialists. That's telling the dictators. It's telling the world power that God will not accept that you suppress the urges that he put in his creature to bring him to his full life and his full existence. Those that are inclined to be in accord with God's will, he himself will look out after them. And if you try to imprison them, he will, he will break that situation. If you try to imprison their mind, he will break that situation. If you try to deceive their instincts, he will break that situation. No matter how much knowledge you get of science, the manipulation of human life, deception, playing upon their wits and their psychology, no, you can't come up with nothing that God hasn't already devised a scheme that will overcome it. Yeah, that's what God is telling them. So you see those Joseph's situation, you see his circumstances, how his 12 brothers, the world, his 12 brothers were the world, a certain type of world, the spiritual world. 12 brothers, see how his 12 brothers tried to do away with him? Tried to get him out of the way? Tried to suppress his urges? Tried to keep him from becoming a leader? See how God overcome and came all of that? Now why do you want Joseph out of the way? Because Joseph will say, God has that authority, not you. You want to share divine power, divine authority, divine uh, uh, a rule with God. God said, no, I don't share my power, my rule, my command with any. Now, isn't it in Egypt that says, hey, I speak for God. The commands come from me. They're the commands of the Lord. Huh? And 
And you ignorant people will keep quiet. Or we'll lock you up. No matter how holy you are, no matter good how good you are, we'll lock you up. But were you able to lock up Joseph and keep him locked up? No. Didn't God protect Joseph? And you had him in a situation where he was under you, under your influence. And then God caused you, he made you an instrument for Joseph's future dignity and liberation. While you had thought you were getting rid of him, you was advancing him to his great role that he was to live upon the earth. Hmm? Put him down into the depths of the hole and sell him into slavery. And then put him in prison. But God brought him up out of all of that. And put him over those things that you were yourself once responsible for. Hmm? Took the responsibility from others and gave it to Joseph. And you don't know how to be fair with the food that God has created. Put Joseph over it. And God says, that is how on that wise we established Joseph in the land. Joseph is a sign. And God says, and that is how we established Joseph in the land or in the earth. Okay. Joseph is established. How is he established? He is established by trial and tribulation, disappointment. Huh? That's what God is saying. That we establish a certain man, a certain a type of human person. We establish him by trial, disappointment, captivity, denial, rejection, etc., etc. But every time they put him in a bad situation like that, God made that situation rewarding for him. Huh? Put him in the depths of the hole. But there comes somebody, somebody came around who had an interest in him. They said, look what's down in the depths of the hole. A fine lad. Huh? A fine lad. I can't resist pulling him up. So they pulled him up out of the hole. Took him into Egypt. Got there. Hey. I don't care. You may be out, out of the guard, out of the, out of the guard, uh, guy, but you are not ready yet to be free in Egypt. Yeah, you lock him up, put him in the prison with the other prisoners. Huh? Yeah. Though he was brought up out of the depths of the hole, still ain't ready for freedom in Egypt. No, we won't let you be no free man in this in this country, in this nation. Put him in prison. Got in prison with the other prisoner, and then he became their leader. Huh? He became their leader. And he started, he started improving the life of the inmates so much that the free people start desiring him to come, hey, come give us some of that help. <laughs> Say, hey, where is he? Get him, come up, get him up out of there. Say, but he's, 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 he's a convict. Release him. We need some of that help he's giving his in, inmates, his, his uh, homies down there. <laughs> <laughs> and on that wise, we established Joseph in the land. That is how we established Joseph in the land. Then he was tested, wasn't he? Beautiful women. Beautiful women. Kind of to make the average Negro 
<laughs> Sell his mama. <laughs> Throw his baby in the fire. But they couldn't take him away from his form. They couldn't take Joseph out of his form. He was accused, even after he was freed, right? Accused of wanting the big man's woman. Yes. And Joseph said, no, I've never been guilty of wanting your woman. She's been seducing me. She's been trying to seduce me. He said, look, look at me. Look at her. You don't see where I grabbed her. She grabbed me. <laughs> and when the other ladies heard about it, the smaller ladies in the outer surroundings, oh, they just went crazy. How could she resist, resist raping him? I don't see how she's resist raping him. And they just went wild and bit their fingers all off. Oh, I just could have Joseph just one time. And he was one cast out, considered to be worthless. Huh? But his value had to be discovered. And he had to go through trials and tribulations before his value was recognized. And once it was recognized that everybody turned their eyes to Joseph, saying, what a wonderful, what a special kind of man. Some said, he must be an angel. Didn't it? Yeah, some thought he was an angel. No, it just can't be real. Quantum khaira ummetin ukhrijat linnas تأمرون بالمعروف وتنحون عن المنكر وتنحون عن المنكر وتؤمنون بالله You are the best the community brought out for the good of all people commanding by the highest standards and prohibiting all that is offensive and believing in God. Assalamu alaikum. What we want to do now is assemble for Salatul Duhur. Then after Duhur prayer, we'll come back down, we'll assemble back down. Our Imam, inshallah, will give us 15 to 20 minutes or so for general discussion. Praise be to Allah.